The internet can be addictive, and there's an actual diagnosis of a behavior that's referred to as internet addiction. I think it's uh, referred to as gaming addiction since it frequently involves, you know, excessive use of computer games. Um, you know, internet addiction, it's, you know, not like cigarettes where it's going to kill you, but to the degree that it starts to interfere with your normal daily life, internet addiction is a problem. And there are societies where certain people will withdraw, you know, from the world to spend more time online in spaces that can be more satisfying to them. And there are certain ways in which, as we understand it, interaction with the internet, interaction with computers can be highly satisfying. And there's certain interactions online that can start to mirror the interactions we have in real life. But if the use of the computer becomes something that starts to affect your relationships with friends or relationships with family in negative ways, then you might want to think a little bit um, about trying to understand or curtail some of your internet use. But to me, one of the most important things about internet addiction is that this is actually a real thing. So like, you know, when you think about alcohol, when we think about tobacco, substances that we know are addictive, you know, nicotine, highly addictive. When we approach cigarettes, we come to them with this context that we understand that this is an addictive substance and that there are negative consequences that go along with that. And if you want to smoke cigarettes, okay, I guess, but no one hopefully in our country is engaging in that behavior without an understanding of some of the psychology of it. I used to smoke for years and I was addicted to cigarettes. I mean, I, I needed them as part of my daily routine. And I, you know, I understood that at an intellectual level, but there's an actual real serious physical reality to that. And anything that can be addictive is something that we have to treat with care. Um, so be the fact that the internet can suck people in and really prevent them from living out the rest of their lives is something that the rest of us have to reckon with as we use the internet because, you know, I'm not arguing that the internet is as dangerous as heroin. Uh, it's certainly not as addictive as, as highly addictive substances, but it has addictive qualities to it. And those addictive qualities should bring us caution as we engage with it, as we use it on a daily basis. Just keep this in mind. You know, the internet doesn't come with a warning label, a huge thing on the side of the package like cigarettes do. Um, but we should just have this in the back of our minds as we use it, that people can get addicted to it, it can lead to certain type of compulsive behaviors, and this should guide our own engagement with it.